The Guardian uh, have led with something perhaps with longer-term consequences for the nation, for humanity at large, Nick? Yeah, they've gone with scientists create synthetic human embryos in stem cell breakthrough. And so this is uh, the, the sort of new world. This is the, the Matrix world where you just better grow people, stick them in those little pods. I mean, I'm paraphrasing the article. That's not actually in there. But mm. uh, So they're, they're sort of embryos, but they're treated... They're not treated legally as such because they're outside the jurisdiction of the UK. So it's, it's, it's a grey area about uh, ethically, well, in so many ways. Mm. But, uh, will, it, will it create... Um, I mean, it will, presumably it will have some therapy options. Is it going to map onto the same sort of territory as the stem cell uh, therapies, which are currently... <laughs> well, I know this... Funny enough, I was talking to somebody today at lunchtime who happened to know the amount of uh, vitriol and hatred that Michael J. Fox has been subject to, apparently, in America, because he has made stem cell oh, okay. treatment available to himself outside of America for his Parkinson's. Oh, I see. It's a very yeah. successful treatment, but it is the Christian right, largely, who... Uh, and I don't know where you stand on that, but it's... I mean, it's obviously... It's, it's kind does. of partly horrific dystopia, but also it's extraordinarily... Well, what what I want to know is, did you eat at Pratt? Is that where no. you went for lunch? No. no. OK, no. fine, I'll just... It's just funny, you know, I only was laughing because we get these stories like five minutes ago, it's all blurry, and Simon's like, <laughs> yeah. does this relate to <laughs> stem cell? <laughs> no, I... I'm a commit... <laughs> the one thing it does do, it says the motivation for the work is that scientists, so scientists can understand the black box period of development, which is mm. uh, between... Uh, is up, it goes up to legal limit of 14 days. One thing I did mm. research and find is that they tried to implant these into mice and they didn't develop into life. And also the same with monkeys, they died after a few days. So we don't yeah. have to worry just yet about, you know, cloned hu yeah. sort of fake humans but very I soon. saw a thing about the other day, we were talking about COVID research when they were originally doing the research which is suspected to have been leaked now from the laboratories mm -hmm. and they were injecting uh, a coronavirus pathogen into albino mice with human lungs. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Human uh, lungs. I was, I was there for the experiment. <laughs> I, I, I oversaw it. <laughs> I mean, we've already... Well, yes, it's Tesla's uh, quote, uh, monsters there's... beyond your comprehension. Yeah. But, I don't know, stem cell research is a potential... If you can eliminate the need for, obviously, a, you know, the, the horror comes from using uh, aborted foetuses for it and so on. Exactly, yeah. So that, well, I guess we'll have to see how this is going to be. Like, like any scientific development, there are going to be pros and cons, and it's how this stuff is controlled and yeah. how it's... The, the, what the Pros, is. cons. Yeah. <laughs> for this time uh, tomorrow. I mean, no, Look, if it kills baldness, I'm all for it. Yeah. Now, uh, there is another story here. Desperate Johnson hits out at Tory MP. So this is one of the people who's been on the committee that have about... I believe they've signed off now on their report, essentially damning him, which is why he is... Um, why he's quit. And it turns out that that MP, uh, Bernard Jenkins, he was... There were allegations that he attended a birthday party mm -hmm. uh, during, uh, um, during that time in, in lockdown and whatnot. So he's calling hypocrisy, which I think is fair enough. Uh, although, arguably... Ben Jenkins wasn't the uh, leader of the country. And the other reason, of course, is that it's not actually just the party gate that's the issue, it's him misleading Parliament. That's really what the case comes down to, and that's a separate thing altogether. But Johnson is desperate, as it says here, and he's hitting out and he just doesn't care who comes down with him. Yeah. I'm not going to give that story the oxygen of publicity. What do you think? Nick? Well, no, exactly. I mean, yeah, it is ludicrous that the guy <laughs> running the inquiry has done the same. They've all, they're all doing it. They were all it does seem extraordinary. There's some of these uh, peerages. There's, there's somebody has been elevated at the age of 29. Uh, and the, the supposition oh, yeah. is entirely because they were, you know, they know where the, where the empty bottles of Prosecco ah, are buried. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, it does feel like an extraordinary... I have some sympathy, to be honest, because I just think the whole thing was ridiculous mm, to begin with. But, um, yeah. you know, it's, it, this is what happens when things spiral out of control from a tiny little yeah. seed planted the wrong way up. And this I was on the man who oh, made it. Sorry. No, I was going to say I was on the original list that got tipexed out. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't worth the wait. You were this sat was there the man now who... caught between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> <laughs> Arguably, <laughs> it was ridiculous, but this was the man who made it ridiculous for us all. 